Okay, to get started, I just added this clip to my timeline that I'd like to add my effect to. Let's begin by using the razor tool to cut out the part of the video you'd like to slow down. Then make sure the part you cut out is selected and use the Ctrl R keyboard shortcut to open up the speed settings. In here, set the speed to 50%. Then check ripple edit so your slow down clip doesn't get cut off. And be sure to change the time interpolation to optical flow. This will make your slow motion smooth. Okay, now when I play this back, the cutout part of my clip will play in slow motion, but since optical flow can be rough on your computer, you may need to select the clip and press the enter key on your keyboard to render it out before it'll play back smoothly. Alright, for the sped up part, first let's drag our V1 track up to expand it so we can see its preview on our clips. Then on the top left of the last clip, right click on the gray FX square. Go to Timer Mapping, Speed. Now select the pen tool from the toolbar and click on the line at the very beginning of that clip. Then reselect the selection tool and drag the line up to speed up the video clip to your desired amount. I'll set mine to around 250%. Okay, now drag that second half of the marker up here to the right to create a ramp. You also might have noticed this point with two handles in the middle of the ramp. If you drag its top handle to the right, you can create a faster ramp that eases in. And now when we play this back, my clip slows down and then speeds up. That's it for this tutorial, but some of you might be wondering why I didn't use a ramp for the slow motion. Using a ramp wouldn't allow us to use optical flow, which is essential for the smoothness of the slow motion, unless you're working with super high frame rates. I also just don't think a ramp for slow motion is really necessary because a sudden change looks really natural to me. However, I do think ramping the speed up is important to make the transition from slow to fast look really smooth. But yeah, I hope you guys like this one, thanks for watching, and catch you next time.